gonna bring the real end of our trial But they don't be no real What's up? It's your boy from Mario 2009 Better known as AKA Bring No Slow Motion Actually, I got a topic That I know nobody thought about Thought about speaking on, you know what I'm saying? Real talk, nobody thought about even putting it Thinking about and it. I'm wondering, is having hair a really big deal in being in a relationship or being friends with somebody? I mean, is hair the ideal thing? And the reason why I ask that is because, like, I cut a lot of films. There's a lot of films tell me, why you cut your hair? Your hair was so cute. You was real cute when you had your locks. I, I even got a homegirl that cut her, cut her braids. You know, she said she got cussed out for having, for cutting her braids off. And I'm like, okay, is it really that big of a deal to have hair these days? You know what I'm saying? Is it, does it make you cute? It's like, I had somebody tell me, well, you were real cute when you had, you know, when you had your locks and I'm stuff. like, okay, so I'm not cute anymore because I don't have my locks? You tell me, so... Did I get ugly because I didn't cut my locks? That's what you tell me. So me having long hair was a lot better. I was better looking, long hair still. Now because I said I cut it, now I guess I'm ugly. Or you wouldn't talk to me or something. The reason why I'm asking is, is a lot of females be tripping off. Oh, why you cut your hair, dog? Or, Man, you shouldn't cut your hair, dog. You should. Okay, what difference is it going to make? Is hair really going to make a difference? I mean, it's going to grow back. I mean, hair, you cut it, it grows right back. We got I mean, fast hair, it grows, you know, it'll grow like that. But I'm like, is it really a big of a deal if somebody cuts their hair? I mean, does it make a less of a person? I'm just asking because I've had, like I said, I, I showed that, you know, I had my locks and I've got girls tell me that. You know, you were real cute when you had your locks. Okay, so I became less cute, cute because I don't have them. So I became ugly. I'm just not the trigger your memory anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because I cut my hair. I'm just asking, you know what I'm saying? Is it really, is it, hey, do people have hair phobia? I mean, not hair phobia, but like, is that a fetish? You know, you it's must have long hair. This is part two, speaking of... Is hair really a big deal? Having hair, you know what I'm saying? I see a lot of studs now have weave and have twists and stems and studs be tripping off of, tripping off of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, why are you tripping off of it? If a fem gets weave put in her hair, that's fine. But if a stud gets kinky twists. Um, my it's problem. problem it's the issue people like make fun of it like ha 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 I mean really is it that serious is having sir is hair really making you who you are I'm like I don't get that okay so what a stud puts she, she, she might hair. want her hair to grow you know what I'm saying she that helps if it helps a film's hair grow you know maybe she's thinking okay I'm still me I'm still going to be the stud that I am. I can put kinky twist in my hair. I can wear weave in my hair. You know what I'm saying? Or have micros. And I'm still going to be the stud. And somebody always has something negative to say about it. I am just don't understand that. You know, you cut your, if you have braids, you cut your hair tomorrow. You got fam cussing you out. Or you got your bros like, damn man, why you cut your hair? Like, you can't have a change. Okay. Look at now the industry, the entertainment right. business. Bauer. Hell, look at Buster Rhymes. He cut his dreadlocks. Do you know how long that man's dreadlocks was? And he cut them. You got, I mean, I, you got a lot of celebrities are cutting their hair. The last celebrity I heard about that cut their hair was Lloyd. Everybody was tripping off why Lloyd cut his hair. What does it make a big difference for real? It's not that serious. It's only hair. I mean, the industry changed. You want to change with the industry, so you change your hair. Same thing with people. You get tired of wearing dreadlocks, so you cut it off. You get tired of having braids, or you get tired of having somebody braid your hair, so you cut it. And then it's still going to grow back. 
you can even if you decide, you know what, well, dang, I'm tired of having short hair. Yeah, you just let your hair grow. You know what I'm saying? It really is not that big of a deal as people make it out to be. I don't understand. Like, I love that song by Indiare. I am not my hair. Just like I am not my locks. If you really want to know about somebody, a reason why they cut their hair, or the reason why they did the the action of doing that, so ask. Don't just dog them out because they know so you know Back to part three. I had to do three videos of this because some apparently reason that you know you can only have 10 minutes of making a video on YouTube to put your video up on YouTube so I had to break this video down <clears throat> into three different parts um but I just want to know about it you know what I'm saying like is it really that big of a deal maybe people got hair fetish I mean do you got a hair fetish is that what it is you can tell me. I really ain't gonna be mad. I mean, I, I, I really wouldn't get upset. I think it's pretty cool if you say you got a hair fetish, that's why you're tripping off somebody. And I'm tripping off studs that have weave in their hair. Or have micros or kinky twists. How are you gonna be a stud? And then you got studs do something. Man, there ain't no real studs. She got weave in her head. Who cares? Did you buy the weave to go in her hair? Did you contribute anything to putting for the weave going in her hair? Are you fucking her? Are you dating her? Do you pay her bills? So what the fuck it doesn't matter. What the fuck another stud does with their hair. If I see another stud with fucking kinky twists or finger waves in their hair, more power to them. That's what they want to do to their hair, that's the more power to them. That's their hair. But me to tell them that, why are you doing that to your hair? That don't look right. Or, they ain't no real stud, they soft. You a hater. <laughs> I mean, for real. Just hating. Hating for no fucking reason over something so small. It ain't even really that big of a deal. Like, I, I've seen, I don't really care. I mean, I, I really just be wanting to know about that, you know what I'm saying? Why is it a big deal? I mean, let me know. Give me, give me some feedback. Tell me why it's a big deal, like, you know, of having hair. I mean, I'll tell you why I cut my hair. I'll break it down a little bit, but real quick. I cut my hair because I let the wrong person affect my energy of my hair. They're, like Your hair is like antennas. It collects in what's out there in the world. So if a person has positive energy and they're, take, they're twisting up your hair, then you collect in their positive energy. But okay, if you let a negative person touch your hair, you're collecting their negative energy. Your hair is like antennas. It collects what's out there. You know what I'm saying? And I let the wrong person that had the wrong energy touch my hair. And I was not the right. Basically, it changed my whole persona. My aura was not positive no more. My, I was negative on a lot of stuff. So I said, you know what? I need a new change. I need to start over. Doesn't mean I'm not going to lock back up my hair. I just need to start over. So I cut my hair. After that, as you see, I'm like, Yahoo, the most goofiest person all back again. Kumara 2009, when you know, slow motion. I'm giggly, I'm happy. So that's why I did it. But I am locking up my hair again. So to y'all that tripped off of it, it's getting locked back up. That's the reason why I now just letting it grow and I keep getting it lined up. I'm locking back up my hair a lot earlier than what I said I was going to do. But, uh, y'all hit me back. This your boy, Kamar 2009. I'm out your ear. Peace. Time will bring the real end of our trial. But they there'll be no remnants, no trace, no residual fear lands within you.